Hi everyone, welcome to your timeless pick a card reading. And this particular reading is How Do They Feel About Me? And the decks that I'm using today are the Gilded Tarot, the Morgan Greer, and the Spirit Within Tarot. So I'm going to leave all the timestamps in, in the uh, description box below, as well, as well as the information that you need to get a personal reading from me. But I'm going to give you guys some time to pick a deck, or rather a pile, and then after that I'm going to go straight into reading number one. Okay, so this is option number one. So, as to how they feel about you, I see very prominently uh, the devil card. So I'm under the impression that there's a lot of sexual chemistry going on here. I think that they think you're really attractive, very seductive, very um, sort of that temptation feel is the vibe that they get from you. And... I get that they either think that you're very generous with this Six of Pentacles, or they want to be very generous to you. Um, I'm getting sort of the picture of like going out on a date and they're like, no, no, let me pick up the tab. That kind of a thing. Like they really want to impress you. They really want to be... They really want to sort of have you have a positive impression of them, I feel, for sure. And definitely with the High Priestess, I'm getting the impression that there may very much be uh, something already happening between you two. Because the High Priestess always talks about your intuition, right? So I feel that you guys are in a very powerful, intuitive spot right now. And... I'm guessing that you guys are getting a lot of sort of messages or feelings, sort of reactions from this person about your connection with this person. And I'm getting that for a lot of you guys, you might have history with this person. This may be an, um, an ex they may, that may have recently come back into your life. Uh, that's for some of you, though. And with this Queen of Cups, I'm definitely getting that there is very passionate, compassionate love here. I feel especially that that you're the one that's sort of giving off these Queen of Cup vibes. That your partner, or rather the person that you're inquiring about, is, ha is seeing you that way. That you're this sort of very caring, loving, nurturing person. And it's very interesting to me that I see the, both the Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. So that to me sort of symbolizes that this person wants to come forward with an offer. And I think that it might be that this person is worried that you have other people. And with this Knight of Wands, they really want to come forward passionately, but they also want this Knight of Pentacles energy where it's stable. Especially with this Knight of Pentacles in combination in conjunction with this Six of Pentacles. I think that they definitely want to offer you um, some level of stability. And like I was saying earlier, if you guys have history, then maybe it could have been that they've come forward in the past. And there wasn't that stability. And it may have been like a whirl whirlwind, ah, sorry, a very passionate romance, whirlwind romance. Especially with this Devil card, because the Devil card can often talk about toxicity. So, you know, when there isn't a very stable foundation in relationships, it can often turn sort of like into a toxic thing or something where you guys resent each other. And I, I definitely feel that that's the last person, that, or sorry, the last thing that this person wants. So, 
I think that with this high priestess, you already have the intuition and you already know that this person wants you. And I think this is just more confirmation. But that was your reading for option number one. So now I'm going to go on to option number two. Okay, so if you picked option number two, this is your reading. That's very interesting. So you got the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, and you got the Ten of Pentacles upright. So I think just right off the bat that... Okay, so I'm taking a closer look at this, and I'm seeing this Page of Pentacles along with the Knight of Pentacles. So there's a lot of sort of money energy going on here. And I think what it is, is that right now is a time of stability, right? This person is trying to get their stability. Um, I like, uh, whenever I get two of the same card from different decks, I always look at the imagery to sort of see what it is that both messages mean separately and I'm looking at this Ten of Pentacles from the Morgan Greer that's in reverse and it it's just a chest with money in it so I think that what what the problem is here is this person doesn't have a whole lot of stability financially but I'm looking at the Morgan Greer's Ten of Pentacles and you know those two people are happy I feel like and even though you know the Ten of Cups talks more about emotional happiness and emotional fulfillment. But I think that this um, Ten of Pentacles is talking about somebody who is, who's got like their family values and all those kinds of things uh, in order. And I feel like that's very important to you. I'm really getting the impression of somebody here who's like a hard worker, who likes to put in effort into things, who likes to do things the right way, but they're just not, they don't have money. It could be that this person is, like if you're college age, it could be that this person just hasn't finished their career or is trying to do something. I think for some of you it might be that this person is going back to school because the Page of Pentacles oftentimes is a student. But what I'm trying to get at here is that this person wants to be your equal. Your equal. Especially with this four of wands and the sun like this person outright wants to marry you i feel like this person in their head sees a very long happy long lasting relationship with you guys they see you as like the ultimate like the ultimate sort of like the answer to your the answer to their prayers uh the like person of their dreams like this person is just sees so much happiness with you to get the ten of pentacles and the sun together like that's just crazy to me and i don't think it's even that big of a deal that you have a ten of pentacles in reverse because you know you have it upright right next to it so what i'm trying to get at here is that this person is moving towards a place of stability and once this person gets towards stability, they're going to enter this Page of Pentacles energy, and then they're going to enter this Knight of Pentacles energy. Right? So the page, the pages will oftentimes will mean like the beginning th stages of thoughts and intentions and messages, whereas the knights oftentimes are taking action on those things. And because you have this Page of Pentacles, like I think this person is head over heels for you. It's just a matter of being able to offer you stability and that was your reading for group number two all right so if you picked group number three So I definitely see that there was 
it's very possible that there was heartbreak in the past. So it, it, you may very well be dealing with someone from the past. Um, just because I see this three of swords. So that leads me to believe that there's some kind of history in which this person hurt you. Um, if you're not dealing with someone from the past, then you're definitely moving out of this painful energy or rather this heartbreak energy. And what I mean by that is that you might be moving towards someone new, right? I definitely see that somewhere along the line, there was an element of someone who... Because this whole left side of the of the reading, I see pa uh, swords. I see the page of swords, I see the seven of swords, and I see the three of swords, and they're all from different decks. So that, that leads me to believe that there's a lot of mental energy, a lot of energy of being in your head. And what I think more specifically than that is that there was a person with a sharp tongue because <laughs> oftentimes the uh, page of swords tend to be that way. They tend to be very uh, reckless with their words and their thoughts. And that leads me to believe that this person was very inconsiderate with the way that they spoke, especially to you, and they were very dishonest. Uh, I, I'm looking at my timer right now, and, and it's 11-11, so if you guys are seeing synchronicities, that might be a very big confirmation for you guys. But like I was saying, um, the Seven of Swords is someone who's very dishonest. So that leads me to believe that this person was probably very, acting very dishonest towards you. And that's what led to this heartbreak. And definitely if there's another person here, I'm seeing this Page of Cups, the Knight of Cups, and the Magician. So there's so much more love on this side. I'm definitely seeing like this first half as the old and the second half as the new. So it definitely has this very out with the old and in with the new energy. And, you know, going from the page to the night definitely leads me to believe that this person, because to me the page is like the beginning stages of a message, right? It's thoughts, intentions, but not necessarily action. Whereas the night, you start to see that action. So the fact that you're seeing that action, I feel like it could be that you're manifesting it with this magician, or it could be that they're sort of working up the gall to come and talk to you. It could be that they find you very attractive, and that's why they sort of feel like they could feel like that you're out of their league. Alternatively, it could be two separate people um, with the Page of Swords and the Page of Cups. The Page of Swords talks about air signs, so those are Aries, sorry. Those are Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and then you have the Page of Cups, which are Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. So if you meet people with those signs, definitely keep in mind. Um, it could be that air signs aren't going to be the best for you right now. But as I was saying, I, I definitely feel that with this magician, there's a level of manifestation going on. So if you are trying to manifest love into your life right now, definitely be attentive. Like, be aware of how they come towards you. Are they coming as a loving, kind person? Or are they coming as a cold, analytical, hurtful person who's being dishonest? I think that you guys are going to find that very much it could also be that this person was this way in the past and has now changed. Um, but all those things are just dependent on your situation. But I think that this person definitely feels very strong romantic feelings towards you, especially with these cups, these suits of cups. But that was for option number three definitely if you guys haven't already please consider subscribing or leaving a like because it really helps out the channel and i hope to see you guys for your next video um this coming week because i'm going to upload all of the signs i upload aries and libra on mondays and taurus and scorpio on tuesdays gemini and sagittarius on wednesdays Cancer and Capricorn on Thursdays, Leo and Aquarius on Fridays, and then Pisces and Virgo on Saturdays. And then Sundays, I do videos like these. So, please, like I said, 
come back and watch more videos. I really appreciate it, and I hope that they help you. Um, so I hope to see you guys next time.